Hello, I'm Martha Mutchler. I'm a vegetable breeder with an emphasis on the discovery of new traits and their transfer into domesticated vegetables. The central theme of my work has been to reduce the loss of crop or crop quality that is caused by biotic stresses such as diseases, insects, or insect transmitted virus. While reducing the use of fungicides, pesticides, and other sprays for biotic stress control. For example, in the Northeast US and similar regions, we have cooler, moister production conditions, so the major diseases are fungal oomycete diseases, such as late blight, early blight, and septoria leaf spot. In order to substantially reduce the use of fungicides, we must control all three of these diseases, not just one. Therefore, what we did was to obtain resistances to each of the three diseases, either by discovering them ourselves or by obtaining them from other researchers and transfer them all into the same lines, such as the plants here. As a result of having resistances to all three of these diseases, the plants of the lines or hybrids made with them require only one or two sprays of fungicide per season instead of the typical 10 to 12, a substantial reduction in the use of fungicide while gaining greater control of the disease. To control multiple insects and the virus they transmit, we've transferred a trait from a wild tomato to domestic tomato that allows the production of high levels of acyl sugars, which are a trichum exudate produced all over the plant. The acyl sugar droplets can reflect light. When the drops are large enough, you can see the droplets on the leaf as a slight shimmer, as in this picture. When the insects land on the plant, they encounter this exudate, which is a severe irritant repelling the insects, which immediately leave, most often without having fed. If the insect doesn't feed, it doesn't transmit the virus. This form of resistance works against um, western flower thrip, which transmits a horrible disease called tomato spotted wilt virus and it works against the Bamesia whitefly, or silverleaf whitefly, that transmits uh, bagomoviruses such as tomato yellow leaf curl virus. These two vectors and viruses are two of the most critical ones throughout the world in tropical and subtropical regions. Plants that produce sufficient levels of the acyl sugars suppress virus under field conditions, under heavy infestation, in trial fields in Florida and in California and work very well under severe conditions in greenhouse and laboratory conditions. The plants you see here are all members of our uh, research tomato lines for the acyl sugar project. The different lines have different acyl sugar QTLs or combinations of QTLs as they produce different levels or types of acyl sugars. Using these related lines, researchers can test to see which levels or types of acyl sugars give the best control of insects and insect transmitted virus. With this information, we can choose which levels and types of acyl sugar give optimal control of the greatest number of insects and virus uh, transmission, and therefore give us our breeding goal. These lines would not be useful to a seed company because the integrations carrying the acyl sugar lines are a bit too large and some of them carry additional genes that ne negatively impact either plant type, fruit set, or fruit quality. So to create lines that would be good for seed companies to use, we have been systematically reducing the sizes of the integrations using recombination, determining which reductions in integration size provides us the loss of the QTL regulating the negative trait while retaining the acyl sugar traits. We then pyramid together the integrations necessary for the appropriate level of acyl sugars and the elimination of each of the negative traits. In about one year, we will have the final 
breeding lines that will be far more normal for plant type and fruit type and fruit set, but have the acyl sugar mediated resistance we desired. These lines will be released to seed companies for transfer of this trait into commercial lines and hybrids. This is our goal. Use of the acyl sugar mediated insect resistance will provide control of insects and control of pests using a natural compound which is not toxic and provide control of these insects and virus without the use of pesticides. Pesticides are an issue in production because they are expensive, they can be hazardous to growers, farm workers, and consumers and the environment. Indeed, some uh, pesticides can be neurotoxins. So we have devoted so many years and so much effort to the transfer of this trait in order to eliminate pesticide usage. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.